Back overseas, we were surprised to learn that many of the old computers and televisions thrown away here in the U.S. end up in Africa, endangering children there. Ron Claiborne reports tonight from Ghana. Every day after school, Yusuf Nashidu comes here to scavenge. Yusuf is one of about 100 children, some as young as four years old, who eke out a living salvaging metal from discarded computers and televisions in Ghana's capital city. How long have you been doing this? Every, every day. Every day? Yes. For a long time? Yes. And how old are you? I'm 12 years old. The children earn about a dollar a day, about enough for a meal. Sometimes they set fire to junk computers in order to extract the copper wiring to sell, which unleashes a toxic soup of chemicals. We're looking at the immense health implications. And for the kids, we're talking about organ damage. We're talking about lowering of the um, IQ as a result of the lead, uh, the mercury, even the cadmium. At times, I can feel sick. Like how? I can sit in, like, in my body. I can't feel fine. Where does all this e-waste come from? Much of it from the United States. Washington Metro Area Transit Authority. Property of the U.S. Army. Property of the United States government. State of Connecticut Mental Health Facility. Even the Environmental Protection Agency. For almost every country in the world, it is illegal to send this kind of electronic waste to another country. But not the U.S. The U.S. is one of three nations that did not ratify a treaty banning the exportation of this kind of e-waste. Recyclers ship this waste overseas because the U.S. has strict regulations for disposing of electronics domestically. Plus, it's far cheaper. According to a 2008 report by the Government Accountability Office, harmful e-waste flows virtually unrestricted from the U.S. to foreign countries. Basically, it said that the Environmental Protection Agency and the federal government was doing little or nothing on regulation of e-waste. Today, the EPA told ABC News it is more aggressively enforcing the laws on the books. But as long as electronic waste keeps coming here, these children will keep coming here. Ron Claiborne, ABC News, Accra, Ghana.